thank you everyone for joining session on time so this session is on kafka stream this will be presented by me krishna jaswal so before moving on to the session we all should know uh, the knowledge etiquette and we all should follow it so the first one is punctuality we should join the session 5 minute prior to the session start time and as we start on time and conclude on time so feedback so make sure to submit constructive feedback for all the session as it is very helpful for the presenter uh, silent mode keep your mobile devices in silent mode and feel free to move out of session in case you need to attend an urgent call and the last one is avoid disturbance so please avoid uh, unwanted chit chat during the session so these are the agenda of this of this session we will be discussing in detail uh, what is messaging system uh, what is apache kafka fundamentals of apache kafka and its architecture uh, why we use kafka stream introduction to kafka stream stream processing topology and the key concept and at last we will discuss advantages of kafka and its use cases okay so what is messaging system uh, a messaging system is responsible for transferring data from one application to another so the application can focus on data but not to worry about how to share it distributed messaging is based on the concept of reliable messaging queue messages are queued asynchronously between client application and messaging system so there are two types of messaging patterns available uh, the first one is point to point and the second one is pub sub uh, that is publish subscribe messaging system so the first uh, let's discuss about the first point to point messaging system so in point to point messaging systems uh, messages are persisted in a queue one or more consumers can consume the message in the queue but a particular message can be consumed by maximum of one consumer only so once a consumer reads a message in queue it dis disappear from there and the second one is pub sub based messaging system so in the pub sub system messages are persisted in a topic unlike point to point system it uh, the consumers can subscribe to one or more topic and consume all the messages in that topic in the pub sub system messages message producers are called publisher and message consumers are called as consumer so the real of life example of pub sub system is a dish tv so here uh, we uh, which publishes different channels like uh, sports music uh movies etc and anyone can subscribe to their own set of channel and get them whenever their subscribe channel are available so most of the messaging patterns are following pub sub based so now introduction to apache kafka so apache kafka is an open source streaming data platform created by linkedin in 2011 uh, apache kafka is a distributed uh, pub sub messaging system it is a robust queue that can handle high volume of data and enable you to pass messages from one endpoint to another uh, kafka is suitable for both online and offline message consumption kafka messages are persisted on the disk and replicated within cluster to prevent data loss Kafka is built on top of the Zookeeper synchronization service. It integrates very well with Apache Storm and Spark for real-time streaming data analysis. So, uh, before the Kafka streaming platform uh, emerged, data was captured and processed at random time interval, which decreases the accuracy and precision of data and event record. so oh, moreover this technology replaces the conventional message broker with ability to give higher throughput 
uh, replication reliability like JMS and many more. In addition, the core abstraction Kafka offers a Kafka broker, a producer, and a consumer. A Kafka broker is a node on Kafka cluster. Its use is to persist and replicate the data. A Kafka producer pushes the message into the message container called Kafka topic, whereas a Kafka consumer pulls the message from a Kafka topic. Oh, the fundamentals of Apache Kafka. Uh, first one is topic. Uh, topic is a stream of message belonging to a particular category of category is uh, category. Data is stored in topics. Topics are split into patterns. <clears throat> and for each topic, Kafka keeps a minimum of uh, one partition, partition. So basically, how Kafka stores and organizes mes messages across its system and essentially a collection of messages are called topic. So in addition, we can replicate and partition topics. Here replicate refers to copies and partition refers to division. <clears throat> also, uh, we visualize them as log wherein Kafka stores messages. <clears throat> Or the partition. Partition uh, topic uh, can have multiple partition, so it can handle an arbitrary amount of data. So a, a topic can be split into uh, several parts, uh, which are known as partition of topic. These partitions are separated in an order. The data content gets stored in the partition within the topic. Therefore, while creating a topic, we need to specify uh, how the number of partition, uh, that is the number of, the, the number is arbitrary and it can be changed uh, later on. Partition offset. Each partition message, message has a unique sequence ID that is called offset. Replicas of partition. Uh, the replicas are nothing but backup of a partition. Replicas are never read or write data. They are used to prevent data loss. So the broker. Broker are simple system responsible for maintaining the published data. Each broker may have zero or more number of partition per topic. <clears throat> so from a, in a physical infrastructure, uh, point of view, Kafka is composed of a network of machine that is called a broker. Kafka cluster. So Kafka having more than one broker are called Kafka cluster. A Kafka cluster can be expanded without downtime. Producer. A producers are the publisher of messages to one or more Kafka topics. Producers can send data to Kafka broker. So the consumer consumer can read data from broker. Consumer subscribes to one or more topic and consume published message by pulling data from broker. Leader. Leader is the node responsible for all read and write for the given partition. Every partition has one server acting as a leader. Follower. Uh, follower, the node which follow the leader instruction are called follower. If the leader fails, one of the follower will become the new leader. Now this is the architecture of Kafka. So here we can see that a set of producer is pushing the message into the <coughs> Kafka uh, cluster and zookeeper is uh, maintaining the Kafka cluster and the broker and we can see that there are two different consumer group uh, those are pulling data from uh, Kafka cluster consumer group one contains three consumer set and second contains two uh, consumer set now 
वही काफका स्ट्रीम आर हाईली स्केलेबल एज वेल एज इलास्टिक इन नेचर इट कैन बी डिप्लॉयड टू कंटेनर क्लाउड बेयर मेटल एक्सेट्रा it is operable for any size of use cases that is small medium or large it has the capability of fault tolerance if any failure occur it can be handled by kafka stream it allows writing standard java and scala application for streaming it does not require any separate sorry processing cluster kafka stream are supported in linux mac as well as windows operating system it does not have any external dependencies except kafka itself now to dive into apache uh, kafka stream in apache kafka streams are the continuous real time flow of the fact or record key value pair kafka stream is a lightweight inbuilt client library which is used for building different applications and microservices the input as well as output data of stream get stored in kafka cluster kafka stream integrate uh, the simply to write as well as deploy standard java and scala application on client side so basically kafka stream is a java api uh, that provide you easy access to all the computational primitive of stream processing Uh, that are filtering, grouping, aggregating, joining, and many more. So keeping you have to write, uh, keeping you from having uh, to write uh, framework code on top of the consumer API to do all those things. It also provides support for the potentially large amount of state that result can uh, from stream processing computation. indeed high volume topic and complex stream processing topologies it's not at all difficult to imagine that uh, you had need to deploy a cluster of machines sharing the stream processing workload like a regular consumer group would for the stream processing topology there are following uh, two major processor present in this topology the first one is source processor and second one is sync processor so the source processor this is this type of uh, the type of stream processor which does not have any upstream processor the processor consumes data from one or more topic and produces an input stream to its topology sync processor this is the type of stream processor which does not have any downstream processor the work of this processor is to send the received data from its upstream processor to specified topic kafka stream provide two ways to represent the dsl uh, the system processing topology first one is kafka stream dsl it is built on top of stream processor api Here, DSL extend for domain specific language. It is mostly recommended for beginner. Processor API. This API is mostly used by the developer to define arbitrary stream processors, which processes one received record at a time. Further, it connects these processors with their state store for composing processor topology. this compose topology represent a customized processing logic now the key concept of stream processing time in stream processing uh, time uh, most operations are rely on time even time the time when an event had occurred and the record was originally created this event time matters during the processing of stream data log append time it is the it is that point of time when the event arrived for the broker to get stored processing time the time when a stream processing application received the event to apply some operation the time can be in millisecond days or hours 
Here, different timestamps are assigned to the same event depending on exact, exactly uh, when each stream processing application happened to read the event state. There are different state maintained in the stream processing. Uh, the first one is uh, local or internal state. The state which can be accessed only by a specific stream processing application instance. Uh, the internal state is managed and maintained with an embedded in-memory database within the application. Although local states are extremely fast, the memory size is limited for this. External state. It is the state which is maintained in an external data store. Uh, such as no SQL database, unlike the internal state. It provides virtually unlimited memory size. Also, it can be accessed either from different applications or from their instance, but it carries extra latency and complexity, which make it avoidable by uh, some application. Stream table duality. Uh, a table is a collection of record, which is uniquely identified by a primary key. Or time window. The term time window means windowing the uh, total time into parts. Therefore, there are some operations on stream which depend on time window. Such operations are called windowed operation. Uh, for example, uh, for the join operation performed on two streams are windowed. Although <clears throat> the main goal, sorry. So although people rarely care about that type of window they are using. Oh, the advantages of Apache Kafka, real-time processing. Uh, with the help of Kafka, uh, you can capture and process data with minimum delay and immediately react to a change or customer inquiry. Scalability. Uh, Though Kafka's event-driven uh, microservice architecture, company gain access to a scalable platform that allow them to seamlessly grow and stream. This benefit both the developmental side as well as business perspective. Single source of truth. Kafka store and separate data stream in immutable partition, thus eliminating any human error or oversight, uh, no matter how much uh, you move data between application, you will always have a well-preserved and chronologically structured single source of truth. No need for multiple integration. When connecting data from multiple sources, developer conversely had to write code for this integration separately, which is time consuming. So working with Kafka allow you to create single integration system for producer and consumer data centralization the employees can access data they require to complete their task so through a single source uh, source as opposed to logging into multiple applications moreover they will have a full overview of the information in connection with other important pieces of data such as website interaction uh, or financial insight or place uh, open sourceness. So being open source and available for modification and extension, Kafka has a limitless influx of enthusiastic contributors who continuously come up with new features. Use cases of Kafka. So website or user activity tracking. So this is one of the most widely used use cases of Kafka. It is because a website activity usually creates a huge amount of data generating various messages for each particular page and user activity. Kafka also ensures that data is successfully sent and received by both parties metrics. Apache Kafka is used to monitor operational data by producing centralized feeds of that data. Operational data means monitoring things from technology to security log to supplier information and so on. Log aggregation. 
log data centralization. Several organizations make use of Apache Kafka to collect logs from various services and make them available to multiple customers. Real time stream processing, message docker, and microservices. Now I will show you the demo explaining. So uh, we have to refer to official documentation for Kafka. So this is the official site. So from here, first of all, we need to uh, get Kafka downloaded and we have to install it in our system locally. And then with, uh, we have to use this command to run Zookeeper and start the Kafka server and create a, this is command to create topic, uh, write some messages into topic, read the uh, messages from topic. Actually, I have installed Kafka over here. This is the package I will start <coughs> Kafka 2.12. Now I will create the open terminal over here. So first of all, we have to start Zookeeper service. And then we'll start Kafka server. Uh, by default, Kafka server is uh, started on port uh, 9092. Let's create a simple topic. This is the command to create a topic uh, in Kafka. You can see that uh, the topic name here is Qt start event. So by this name, a topic will be created. Oh, actually, I've created this topic, so it is uh, saying that it is it cannot be created any, anymore. In order to write something to the topic, we'll use this command to The topic name is same Qt start events. The producer. This is the producer service, and it is started now. So, in order to consume uh, this messages, we have to start the consumer service with specifying the same topic name. Actually, I have created this topic earlier, so it is receiving messages from there. You can see that the messages are being synchronized. <clears throat> uh, if we send something like this, no, and in the consumer side, we will see that the message is received over here. <clears throat> now uh, we'll create a same a program with the help of uh, explaining both to understand it in a much better way. So to create a Spring Boot project, we have to go over here Spring.io and with the help of Spring Initializer, we'll uh, get the Spring project. <clears throat> so in order to save time, I've already created the project. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the project I've created. In the pom.xml, you'll see that I have added a certain dependency like web, string, Kafka, dev tool, Lombok, and that's it. <clears throat> Let's create a simple <clears throat> model. We'll create a model. Okay, so the class is created now. Let's create some variable. Find private string. So our model is ready and let, now let's create a <coughs> Kafka service. So we'll annotate this with the configuration. Now let's uh, define the topic <clears throat> from uh, where will from where will posting the data. Uh, public private static final okay. user we have created uh, another topic with the help of users <clears throat> so i am specifying user over here so with the help of this uh, we will uh, posting the data to this topic user two okay so we will be using kafka template its argument type would be use equal to this thing and the value would be of type order I will be creating a send method to send the data. The object type should be order. template dot so here we have to define a topic 
and key and its value. The topics we have already used this. This should be your uh, will be generating random integer. So we using UID dot random UID dot to string to generate this, and the value should be order. So let's create a logger to log information in our console. So we will be using private final. Let's So the variable is defined. We'll use logger dot info to enter information. Our service is ready now. <clears throat> now we'll create a REST controller. Let's create a package controller. Package. Class. So we are will be consuming REST today, so we have to annotate it with REST controller. Find the Kafka uh, our uh, class is producer service. Service Wait. We will be uh, uh, sending the order detail in JSON format. So we'll use here request body and object types of the order. Producer So the controller is ready, model is ready, service is ready. Now we have to define uh, YAML class. In Kafka user. I'm going to 
symbolizer rg dot rg Spring dot JSON and dot type was here. Okay, so our YAML file is ready. So let's run this. Before running, we have to create the user or the user to name. Hi, Krishna. I'm sorry to interrupt it between, but we just have seven minutes for the session to end. Just a small reminder. Okay, okay. okay. So keep the current cup by running the so let's uh, the topic control. So the topic is created and we'll start the consumer service for this topic. Okay, so consumer service is started now. Uh, since we are using REST controller, so let's use Postman to send the data. Okay. configuration logger object controller so one more thing that is not defined post mapping Okay, it is good to go now. It 
depending on local host ESP. Accordingly, we need to pass <coughs> a JSON format of order. The third variable is delivery type. Yes, we can see that uh, we are getting 200 OK response. Now let's open the consumer. And inside the consumer, we can see that uh, we have received this uh, message from broker uh, topic. Let's send another message with a different name. Uh, Krishna, sorry to interrupt again. We just have last two minutes left. Okay, so I think I cannot. I think I will. I have to take another session for this to finish this. Okay, so it is uh, the producer service is working working fine now, <clears throat> and now uh, I cannot explain you the Kafka Extreme service. Actually, what I uh, I, I was going to do this uh, here is that uh, suppose we are sending uh, this data as JSON. So in the Kafka stream uh, demo, I will be uh, writing a logic uh, to uh, fetch this stream from a specific topic, and with the help of delivery type, uh, whether it is home or it is. Uh, something other value if it is home value then we will filter this value and it will be sent to another topic and if it is not uh, matching with home then we will be uh, sending this data to uh, different topics so i was uh, going uh, i was there to write a program to for this but uh, the time is not permitting me so i will take a further session for this and Oh, so if you have any question or doubt, then you can reach out to me after this anytime. Right. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Krishna. And guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Krishna anytime and he'll be happy to answer you. We'll see you in the next session, guys. Right. Thank you so much, Krishna, for the wonderful session. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining in.